Why well, hello there wrestling fanatics, it's your host here once again, it is Team Rai Rai and I'm back for another podcast of Team Rai Rai's Wrestling Podcast, episode number 63, I have a guest here, it has been a while, go ahead and plug your social media, whatever you want to do, take it away. What up guys, this is Triple H Guy 2004 on Twitter and also on uh, YouTube, um, just chilling out with Rai Rai and have a good Sunday. That's awesome. Okay, first thing first, off the record, congratulations to the New England Patriots are heading back to the AOC title game six years in a row. That is amazing. Great accomplishment for your football team, my man. Thank you. They, they, they are a great football team. Uh, I know we have our haters, but, you know, when you are a top team in the NFL and you win a lot, you tend to get hatred filled towards you. Yep. Not just football. That's for any sport, my man, you know? So, at least you're happy. You guys got a big game next week. Whoever plays, whoever um, wins tonight against Kansas City and Pittsburgh. So, I wish you a lot of luck. Hopefully, it's going to be a good game, you know? Well, it don't matter. It'll be at Gillette Stadium. So, they'll be tough to beat us at home, so. Oh, yeah, you guys got home field advantage throughout, yeah, it don't matter. I mean, it does matter, but never mind. It just If you guys got knocked out early, then it'd be a different outcome, you know, but you didn't. So, okay, first thing I want to discuss is about, are you a fan of um, Randy Orton's dad, Bob Orton, back in the day? Uh, he was a little bit before my time. I remember him in the late 2000s coming in and helping Randy. Okay. Um, I mean, I remember him kind of, I want to say I remember him, but it's hard to remember when you're, you know, so young. Yeah, that makes two of us. I um, was born in 84, and I could sit here and say that I remember him, but I don't have any vivid memories of any matches that he typically took part in. I mean, I'm sure I wa- I mean, I have watched, obviously, most of the WrestleMania, so I've seen him in matches, but. Nothing, you know, stands out. I mean, other than the cast being on his arm. Yeah, that been the, he, he had a cast for years back in the 80s, so it seemed like that that was his um, gimmick, you know? Yeah, exactly. Um, do you think uh, Orton is better than his dad? I mean, what you see on TV? Or is Orton a better character? I mean, better, I mean, different wrestler, you know what I'm saying? Um, I can't really compare. I mean, I've never been a big... Randy Orton fan. My buddy has always been a Randy Orton fan. Um, nothing against him. It's just I don't find him particularly entertaining on the microphone. Yeah. Um, he's not bad. But I I used to get in vivid fights with people who loved Randy Orton. He's going to be the next savior of professional wrestling. And blah, blah, blah. But he's a very good in-ring talent. I enjoy his matches when I've seen him that's alive, and I've enjoyed his matches on TV, but character-wise, he's not one of my favorites. <clears throat> okay. Um, let's switch gears and talk about Cody Rhodes. It's, um, um, you know, he had all these gimmicks in WWE, Stardust. I mean, you know, I, I think that was the worst gimmick for him, from my point of view. I mean, it was kind of different, but on the other hand, he got tired of it, and WWE, I mean, he wants WWE. To, to go back, you know, his original gimmick, and WWE says, nope, so he wants to release, he went to da- dashing, I don't care for that gimmick, I mean, maybe some people out there like that gimmick, um, what else? Is that the one where he was, is that the one where he's wearing the mask, though? No. Yeah, it was after the dashing gimmick, um, Triple H, a guy, it was after that one. But I did like the one with the mask, it was, it was very creepy, and he had a great match. Oh, is that the one? Is that the one where he grew out a mustache and like put his picture on the Titan Yes, yes, that's the one. I kind of, I, I, I kind of like that. Character. Really? Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know. I just, it, it just, it, it did not fit I me. I like, I think I liked it better than the Stardust character. I think the Stardust character was like, okay, this is cool when it first started, but then it didn't really go anywhere. And nope. Then they put him with the and it was like, okay. I know. It's, 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 yeah. He could do, yeah. He could do way better, but whatever. That's Dovey's fault. 
Um, he would have made more sense. I mean, I know they did tag up for a little while with Gold Dust, but it would have made more sense to have them tag up together, him and Gold Dust. Yeah. They won tag. I think they won tag team gold before. They beat the Shield, I think. Yeah, but they were Cody Rhodes and Gold Dust. I'm saying they could have put them back together. I mean, it's not much different, but they could have been a, a formidable tag team. And then they could have, like, you know, maybe got towards the tag titles and then, you know, Cody or Shida through Gold Dust and then they tried a brother team. Yeah, but. That's I, I, match everybody wanted to see. Yeah, now he's, um. I think he's part of ROH or TNA right now, isn't he? He's part of... I think he's a part of everything now. I think he's part of Ring of Honor. I think he's part of... I don't know TNA. I know he was on the Bound for Glory. I'm not... I don't really buy TNA pay-per-views. Okay. I'm not a big guy anymore. Okay. So I didn't watch that. And I think he's part of New Japan Pro Wrestling. Too. Damn. He's part of the build. Club, do you, and the club came from. Yeah, do you think it's possible that he will ever come back to WWE or not for a long shot? Yeah, I think maybe he will come back, but not anytime soon. Okay. Maybe in a year or two. Okay. I just hopefully if they bring him back, hopefully it's not the return of Stardust again. <laughs> no, I think he would come back and kill the Rose. Good, because, because he was. He, unless, unless he starts doing something different. Character-wise, with New Japan or you know wherever he ends up, like wrestling full time. Yeah. Um. He. I mean, he was IC champion. He was sad that he was never the main guy on. Um. Uh, uh, you know, see, he was never the main guy back then. You know. He was never. He was. I don't think he was ever going to be WWE champion because he was a smaller guy. Yeah. And, you know. I mean, at least with Randy Orton, he might be the same size as Randy Orton, but Randy looks bigger than he does. And it's not a knock against Cody Rhodes, because I like Cody Rhodes. I met Cody Rhodes this past summer. Very nice guy. Is he? Uh, yeah. Cool. I and a couple of my friends did it, do a radio pod, I do a podcast uh, through a local podcast, and uh, they actually had him on the radio, and he was really nice to them, and I have nothing, but he's a true professional, and I have nothing bad to say about Cody Rhodes. Yeah, I miss him, but you know, at least he's doing better, better and bigger things in other companies. Um, what's your thoughts on his wife? Do you think she's pretty good? I I know she was a ring announcer for WF. Okay. Sorry, WWE. I've never seen her wrestle. Okay. I mean, I've seen her. I I can't really comment on something I really haven't seen too much of. Okay. I never, knew they're, they're, I never knew they were married back then. Did you the whole time? Uh, I, I think I remember seeing her after. I think I saw her in a family picture or something on Twitter after Dusty had passed away. Okay. So I think I realized that they were married. Okay. Is it because she? Is that what the reason she left? Because he left? Is that how it worked out? Pretty sure that's what it was, yeah. Okay. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. Okay. Um, I think I think I actually remember reading a report, and you know, you never know what you read on the internet is true, but yeah. I mean, I think it was that she wanted to wrestle, and WWE wanted her to basically be a ring girl. Oh. You know. She so she. To... So she wants to wrestle, but WWE says just do the interviews and all that stuff, huh? I mean, because she probably, she's probably okay, and she could probably do things in the ring, but she's not. They have Charlotte, they have Sasha, they have Bailey, they have so many different people, you know. Just look at the women's division now of how many excellent wrestlers you have. I might not be a fan of Alexa Bliss, his character, but she's decent in the ring. Yeah. I don't think. I don't think she's as good as everybody, you know, hypes her up to be, you know. I don't get the whole, you know, fanfare around Alexa Bliss, to be honest with you. Do you get it? No, I mean, she's pretty, but she's not no um, Lita or she's not no Mickey James, you know? Right, 
Exactly. I mean, I think the whole thing is she started dressing like that stupid character from a stupid movie that everybody loves to love, and, and they just fall in love with her. That's and why. When she, I, I came, and I don't mean a stupid movie, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. I've never seen the movie, so I don't know if it's stupid or not. I don't know. Okay. I'm just going off people's opinions. I've never seen the movie myself. Oh, I must say, I any movie, she stresses like that character from The Suicide Squad. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, she's she's okay. I mean, she's not going to help the... She's not going to win the belt. I mean, she's not going to keep the belt in a long time. I'm assuming she's going to lose it Tuesday in a cage match, but I could be right. I could be wrong. Who knows, you know? Yeah, I'd like to see her lose it. It's nothing against her, but it, I don't know. They had this video out on, um, on I don't know if it was a Make-A-Wish kid. A little, I don't know if you saw it, but it's uh, uh, a black kid, a little kid. who I think he's a Make-A-Wish kid. Yes. I could be wrong. And he was interviewing a whole bunch of people. Yes, I saw it, yes. Like the Miz, he made fun of jokes with the Miz. It was funny, it was hilarious. Yes. But if you watch the whole, the Miz one is the best one of it, out of all of it. Yes. But they had a moment where they had, they had the two champions, the two women's champions. And as much as I can't stand Charlotte's character, because I think they're trying to portray her as Ric Flair 2.0, which they pretty much are. Yep. But, if you look at him, you look, she, you can just say that looks, Charlotte looks like a champion where Alexa Bliss is like this small little thing, and I don't mean to be demeaning in that way, but if, if she doesn't look like what the champ, what your champion is supposed to be. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. You know, I mean, when she comes out with the title around her shoulder, the damn thing is almost as big as she is. It's the same thing for um Sasha Banks, right? Same thing, right? Yeah, but the thing with Sasha Banks is Sasha Banks can pull that off and and her character outshines her stature. And I don't feel like Alexa Bliss's character does that. I agree. You get what I mean? Yeah. I I'm trying to yeah, I try to <sighs> Okay, next. I mean, Sasha can portray that she's going to kick your ass, where Alexa Bliss can only portray that she's kind of a mean girl. And she doesn't look intimidating, where Sasha... And I'm a fan, more of a fan of Sasha, so I'm coming off, probably coming off as I'm a mark for her, and I am. But I enjoy Sasha in the ring in her matches more than I do Alexa Bliss. Yeah. Okay, uh, were you a fan of Crime Time Players? I know they were not really a big time uh, tag team, but they were very funny back then, you know? I agree. I, I like their, sh their shtick. Yeah, they yeah. were good tag team. Yeah, they're very, they were so over with the crowd. I mean, I wish they won gold, but I guess back then they didn't, they didn't need gold because they're, you know, they're funny and they do some ridiculous stuff. I remember that time when uh, Lita was retirement and they took her stuff and auctioned off to the, to the fans. That was, that was funny. And did they, they, yeah, they auctioned off, uh, uh, I remember I was in Boston for a show, and I'm pretty sure it was Crime Time, and they au auctioned off, who the hell was it? It wasn't JBL, it was somebody who wore a cowboy hat, it might have been Trevor Murdoch. Okay. It might have been when they were back, Trevor Murdoch and Lance Cade before he passed away, uh, I'm pretty sure that's who it was, they stole his. Like, they came out and had a match. I don't know if they had a match or Trevor. I can't remember exactly the scenario, but I think Crime Time mean, came up. Well, anywho, they came out and they sold his hat off. It was fun, you know? Yeah. It was that. Yeah, they are so over. I mean, it's awesome. The crowd got into the music and, you know, I love. It's like um, Big Cass and um, those guys now. They're so over. They don't need belts, you know? And I, don't know what they're doing with the whole, I don't know what they're doing with the whole wheelchair thing. I get, you know, but when's that going to end? When's he going to get out of the wheelchair? I know. And then, um, off the record. How long are they going to milk this injury for? And I wonder if it's, 
I mean, do they want him to be the mouthpiece and Big Cass to be the, you know, wrestler? You know what I mean? Yeah. They're going to try to keep Big Cass out of the ring? Because I think, you know, I mean, they could do it, but I, I, I'd rather see him as a tag team. I like seeing them wrestle. I mean, I like seeing, the you know, the big man come in and mop up the floor with him after the little guy talks his melt off for half the match. You know, I like that. Yeah, but I heard McMahon loves the big guy, so most likely they're going to break up. Hopefully that's not the case, you know? You know how McMahon is. He changes his mind like the Dickens, you know? Yeah. And um, you heard about the rumor, it is, or it, I guess it's true, but we're not going to see Taker versus uh, Cena at Mania this year. Are you mad or, or, or no? I, I think I think personally, I was just thinking about this before we came on, and I figured you'd bring this up. I think... Those reports are false. I think we will see Taker versus Undertaker. I think it is a match Vince wants to see. That's his, you know, two two marquee guys that he's made into stars in the past, you know, 25 years. He's the two guys, and they have not faced each other very long. So whether you want to see it or not, when you see it, you'll enjoy it. Yeah. So I think... Now, I don't think... Now, do they need a, the title to be on Cena to get there? No, no, I don't think they need the title to be on Cena to get there. I think you can... I don't even think you need The Undertaker to win the Royal Rumble. I think you need The Undertaker to show good in the Royal Rumble. You know, get to the Final Four and then get eliminated. Um, and then Taker can come out on SmackDown because I know he was on Raw, but he... He seems like he wants to be on SmackDown more. I mean, that's where you probably know him more from. Um, if you if you're either a casual fan, I mean, he, the hardcore fans know he was on Raw years ago, but he was mainly a SmackDown guy in the late early 2000s. Yeah, um, when SmackDown, he was a brand, you know, leader, and I think you could do like, this is my place. You come over here. And la you remember re what happened last time when you tried to, you know, stand up to the big dog in the yard, you know? Yeah, and then the reason they put a taker on, on the Raw because it was the um, college uh, championship game to help out the ratings. Right, exactly. That's right, exactly. That's all. I mean, people are making a big deal of, oh, he was on Raw. Is he going to be now Raw? You know, some people in the internet are like, is he going to be a Raw guy? Is he going to be a SmackDown guy? Who cares? He's the Undertaker. He can go wherever he wants. <laughs> well, technically he can because McMahon tells him he can just go show up just because he's a veteran, you know? Exactly. I mean, he didn't get drafted, so he's not... I mean, if they draft him and he's in the Raw, he's going to be in Raw. But I mean, Yeah, pretty maybe much. Leading up, may, maybe leading into Mania, we have, on each show, we have Stephanie and Mick being like, well, he's, you know, I battled The Undertaker because Mick was, you know, the one that wanted to get Undertaker on Raw in storyline-wise. So he could say, I want my guy representing me at WrestleMania. You know, mm -hmm. Taker as his guy, and then SmackDown has John Cena. Maybe they do that. You heard rumors that um, um, W, I guess Shane Max is going to have a match at Mania, but they don't know about our, the opponent. What's your thoughts on that, if it does happen? Uh, I mean, the match with Taker was fine last year, but uh, I don't think Shane needs to be having matches anymore. Um, I think he is the general manager of SmackDown, or the whatever they call him, I can't remember. Yeah, you're right. The commissioner. Whatever. The commissioner. Commissioner. I mean, he's not always there. Daniel Bryan is mostly there every Tuesday. So I, I don't know. I don't think Shane McMahon needs to have another match. Um, I think his last swan song should be against The Undertaker. Yeah, he lost that match, but who cares? Yeah. 
you know, you, you, he's not a full-time wrestler, so it's not like, oh my god, he lost his final match. Yeah. yeah. And another thing is, today's his birthday, he's 49 in anyway. um, Shane O'Mac. Yeah. Oh, yes, I did see that it was his birthday, I didn't know how old he was. Though. Yep, he's pushing it, so, I mean, I don't mind, I mean, if they're going to have a match, I don't know if it's going to be epic like this past Mania, Hell in a Cell, but I doubt it, but... Yeah, he's just not wrestling anymore. Well, who do you think if they if they had a match? Who do you think he would wrestle? I don't know. If you had to pick somebody, probably someone like probably like um, I don't know. But it won't it won't be like a holy it won't the be only, like what? I mean, the only two scenarios for and not necessarily for Shane. The only two scenarios are. Or the one scenario that I can think of is Triple H. But they oh, yeah. need to finish Roman Reigns. I mean, not Roman Reigns. But Seth, Seth Rollins. Yeah. Probably, before, they, before they go ahead and make another feud. And then you've got two part-timers wrestling each other. Yep. And if you did Shane versus Triple H, you know. Yeah. Or the and, much and what would it be? And what would it be for, you know, to get rid of Shane? Or would it be to, you know, I, I don't know. The match I really want to see. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I think Triple H will face uh, Seth Rollins. I think we get the combination of that, and I think Seth Rollins will go over, and Triple H will pretty much. I don't think it will be his last match, but I don't think we see him wrestle for a while. Yeah, probably until um, um, August SummerSlam again. I don't think he has any desire to. No. I think I think if he went to Vince and said he wanted to go back full time, Vince would let him. You think so? Oh yeah. But I don't think he's gonna, and I don't think he should. No, he's, he's too. Pushing. Yeah, he's getting he's getting up to an age anyway. Yeah, and uh, in fact, and you know his in ring work will get affected by it eventually. Oh yeah, like like Ric Flair. No offense, but Ric Flair is too. Exactly, you know. I know. I know. Flair's working out, but he said he wants to go for another championship run. Come on now, really? I think that's. I think he's just being funny with the internet and being like, "Oh, he's gonna go for seventeen, so he can, you know, get over the hump and Cena doesn't beat his record." Okay. You know, hypothetical record. You know what I mean? I think he's just playing with the internet there, personally. Okay. You know, he's playing with the Cena haters. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Um, oh yeah. I'm not a Cena a fan or a hater. I just, I'm just not. I'm just tired of them. That's all. Yeah. Um, Cena for me, I was a big fan of his when he first came in. I really loved the rapper gimmick. It was fresh. It was new. You know, nobody really had. It wasn't like Cena came in and was Yeah, me, me too. He just like he buried a lot of guys in old seven. From my point of view, some guys should be champion, but W, I guess, didn't have no desire to give the, those guys the belt. But whatever. Um, What's the one guy you? What was the one guy that you got pissed off at? You know. Well, I think I know a lot of people don't think that this is right. I think Bobby Lashley should be John Cena for the belt that one year, but I don't think Bobby Lashley was main event status in a way. I wouldn't have minded Bobby Lashley. I was a big fan of Bobby Lashley in WWE, actually. You know, he was, he was a good powerhouse. He was, you know, yep. he wasn't great on the mic, but nope. there, you know. But, I mean, that's what it takes to get people in the building and talking on the mic. Yeah, or um, John Morrison, he was great. I mean, he was, I mean, he was decent in the ring, but... I don't know about his ring skills, I mean, his skills on the mic, but he could be a, a decent main eventer if they push him. Yeah. But that's W for you. They have, W have their favorites. You know that. Triple H, John Cena, Orton. It's a, it's the same thing like the Ed era. Same thing, you know? Same thing in the, yeah. the, the Golden era. 
It's going to be the same thing. Now, I know a lot of people on social media hate the new era of the passion. What's your thoughts on the new era? If you, you know, I just want to hear your opinion on it. New era? I think, I, I like it. I mean, I know there's some people that we know that, I'm not going to mention any names, but I think if you follow that person on YouTube, you know who I'm talking about that doesn't particularly like the new era. Yep. <laughs> Gemini. Um, <laughs> you said it. Um, sorry, Jim, I love you, buddy, but, uh, you kind of been putting out there on YouTube that you're not very fond of the new era. And I get some of your point. Um, I'm not particularly fond of the, I don't know if you've been watching the UK thing. Have you been following this UK tournament? Oh, God, no. No offense, but no. Okay. No, no, me neither. It's nothing against the people, I just don't. I mean, it's too much. I can't, I can I, it's hard to keep track of Raw and SmackDown, let alone NXT. I don't even watch NXT weekly. Me I mean, I catch up and I look at things, but, but it's just hard to catch up. It's just hard to keep up with the programming. Yeah. And then you want me to watch, and then you want me to watch NXT, and I have no problem watching NXT when I get a chance, when I've got nothing else to do, I'll throw it on and I'll watch it. That's. That's what I use NXT for. I don't watch it every week. Like on SmackDown, I watch every week. Now, 205 Live, I could care less about. And if you hate me for that, you can like it. I'm not going to go to your Twitter page and be like, oh, the new, you know, the 205 is boring. I might say that to certain people, but they know I'm just doing it in a joking manner. I'm not going to be a jerk about it. You like the 205 division, whatever, that's Good on you. I, I, I personally a fast forward button for me on Raw. Hey, this is my this is my theory on the matter. Okay, you got Raw SmackDown. Okay, you got three hours on freaking Raw. That's ridiculous from my point of view. Two hours of SmackDown, and if you got an upcoming preview, it could be three hours, four hours. I don't know. Then you you got uh, I forgot to mention you got two hundred five after SmackDown. That's ridiculous. That's too much. And you got Wednesday NXT, and this past week you got Friday, I mean Saturday and Sunday the um. Uh, UK um special uh, thing for the for the new belt. So really, Dovey, man, you really like to kill us, you know? Right. So, I mean, and then and then and then all these people. I mean, if they have the time and they can keep up with it, more power to them. They watch, you know, New Japan Pro Wrestling. They watch Ring of Honor. It's just like I went to Ring of Honor this past summer because they were in town and I enjoy wrestling. That's why I went to Ring of Honor. I'd never been to a Ring of Honor show, so I went, and I had a great time. That's good. How much was How much were the tickets? Uh, Is it a lot cheaper? For the, no. I mean, I went for two people for the weekend. I think it was for the Friday night, which was the pay-per-view. I think the tickets were 50 bucks a piece, maybe 60 bucks. So, and then... Uh, taping Saturday, taping I think was another thirty a piece. So I think I spent like a hundred fifty bucks for the weekend. Oh, not bad, not bad. Um, let's no, switch. Let's <clears throat> let's switch gears real quickly. You told me on Twitter that you're going to Mania, correct? That is correct. I will be in Orlando, Florida for WrestleMania. I leave Thursday. The I think it's the twenty. Is it the thirtieth? Awesome. Uh, you want to tell the viewers what are you doing out there? Um, is it all planned out for you yet? What are you doing out there in Orlando uh, before Mania? Hold on, let me get the date. I am leaving Thursday the 30th and I am coming home uh, Tuesday the 4th. Um, when I land on Thursday, I'm not sure. Um, I might just go to the hotel. I might chill out. We might go out. I'm not sure. Um, we might... Go to access. I don't know. We don't okay. know yet. Okay. Um, we're gonna see what the access schedule is ahead of us. We might hit up Thursday access because I've heard there's not a lot of people there, and sometimes they have some really good talent there. Okay. Um, Friday. I'm not sure what I'm doing during the day. A lot of my stuff is at night, of course. A lot of the stuff is at night. Yeah. So I. I want to go to Universal, but. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to swing it. I, I did I'll Universal. 
I'm sorry I interrupt, but this past January, me and my dad went to the Universe Studios. We went, we, I think we went there first, or the Rumble. Yeah, we went to, whatever, we went to there, it was nice. It was, it was kind of busy because people from uh, around the world, they had their summer, you know what I'm saying? So you can't really uh, avoid the kids, you know? So I mean, it, it, I'm not I'm not big on Disney, so I, I I don't see myself shoving out whatever the hundred dollar day pass or whatever for Disney. Okay. And me getting much out of it. I mean, I guess I guess there's stuff there that I probably would find entertaining. I could probably go on some rides and have a good time, but I just don't see my unless a group of guys wanted to go and. I would go if I went with a group of people. I'm not going to go by myself to Disney World. Yeah, I understand. You know, it's just if I went with a group of guys, maybe I'd consider doing it. But other than that, so Friday night I have, I we're going to. I think I'm going to do the Hall of Fame, depending on uh, who the because uh, they moved NXT to Saturday, right? They yeah. have. Yeah. Oh. Sure NXT Saturday. oh, so NXT, I mean, the, the Hall of Fame is on Friday nights now, huh? Hall of Fame is, or no, wait, maybe it's, I don't know, hold on. Okay. Anyway, so what, tell, tell your viewers what you're doing. Well, well, me and my dad are going, um, flying out on Wednesday, probably just chill at the hotel. Um, we just go on Mania. And that Sunday, and then I think Monday, Monday or Tuesday, or before I think when we get out there, we're gonna go to um, Disneyland. Then on that Sunday, we're gonna go Orlando. But in the between, uh, I think whatever comes up, I don't. We're gonna go see World. Can you go access? Can you buy tickets there, or you gotta buy tickets way in advance, man? I was just wondering. Um, access you can usually get a just a you know general mission ticket usually at the box office. Oh, they don't? No. Okay. The gen I think now, that's just the general admission. That's not the, you know, that just gets you in the door and you can go stand in a line. I mean, if you get to the right line at the right time, you can be, you know, you can go meet a few people. But sometimes it's, sometimes you stand in line for two hours, like, download the app so you know who's going to be where. Yeah, I'm. I'm oh, wow. See, last time I went to the, uh, I'm not gonna spend that four thousand dollars on uh, VIP because most of you guys are not really worth it from my point of view. You know. Well, no, I mean they're not four thousand dollars. I mean. I know that, but. Up a hundred dollars, you know, the only guy that I really like to go with is Jeff Hardy. Yeah. Um, Jeff Hardy, he does that as well. Yeah. 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 You, you made a video on it, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I would go. I, to be honest with you, I enjoy the VIP uh, better than the regular access line because, and it could be just because it was just done differently at SummerSlam. There's not as many people. Yeah, it's not like it's not the member. I mean, they have some memorabilia there, but it's not at all about the memorabilia. It's about the signing. Yeah, and I like that, but um. Yeah, NXT is on, it, this says Saturday, but I thought they moved to Friday. I don't know. Anyway, how's Sasha? Was she nice? Or were you, did you ask her any questions? Or you just, um, took no, a picture? I was just, I just met her and I was glad to meet her. And she was, she, you know, we had a little bit of a conversation. Um, I got my picture from her indie days. I actually used to see her in Massachusetts wrestle as her name was Mercedes KV. And uh, so I brought a picture of her indie days and she was like, she kind of, you know, not marked out. I wouldn't say she marked out, but she was like, oh, cool, a picture of my indie days, you know. Oh, wow, cool. I mean, I think, I, that, you know, and I think at the time when you met her, I think she was uh, the women's champion, right, at the time? She was the women's champion, and then she lost it at SummerSlam, which I was pissed about. Yep, and that's how it is. <laughs> I I have I've only seen her win it on Raw, and I've never seen her successfully defend her title on a pay per view. Nope. Which which sucks, 
Yep. Again, I, she's one of my wrestlers, and it's nothing against Charlotte. I I do like her. I do like her in ring of her so I I mean I like her on the mic. Don't get me wrong, and I like her in the ring. It's the whole persona of her being Ric Flair. Yeah. That, that pisses me I mean, off. The, that, you know, and the finisher doesn't bother me because it's different. Yeah. She does the bridge. So it's different from the figure four. That, I like that she changed that up a little bit. But the whole, you know, the music, the, you know. Yep. She says she's Ric Flair's daughter every five minutes. Yeah, bef you know. see, before she used to call herself Charlotte, now she uses her last name, Flair. So what the hell, you know? Exactly. You know, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Like, she has gone, it's like, okay, we get your Flair's daughter. We'll never forget that. We don't need to throw it down our face every five minutes. It's yes. Rick Flair's daughter. <laughs> now, I don't know if uh, w See, hey, man, I don't know if Debbie told her to, to use her last name, or is it up to her? We will never know, you know? Yeah, I don't know. But, anywho, so, I Friday night, um... I thought NXT was Friday night for some reason. But I guess the Hall of Fame is... Hold on, let me look up another thing. Okay. So you're coming in, so you're going to just WrestleMania and that's all? WrestleMania, probably um, Disney World and then wherever it's in between, you know? I don't know if I'm going to go access, you know? I'm not too sure, you know? Okay, so Friday night, if I, if, I'm pretty sure the Hall of Fame is Friday night and NXT is on Saturday. That's how they're doing it. Okay. So Friday night, I'm not sure. Depending on who the headliner is for the Hall of Fame, I will go to the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Um, I mean, right now it looks like Christian is the Hall of Fame headliner. Is that, <laughs> is that what I'm, is this what I'm reading? Is yeah. Is DDP or Christian? I hope it's DDP. I, I, I hope they got some. I hope they got somebody else for a headliner. I'm sorry, those two guys aren't headliners. It's not as anything offensively. I like both of them, but they're not headliners. Who do you think should be a headliner? They're do you think? Not, well, be honest with you. Since it's freaking Orlando, you might as well do the freaking Rock. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's from Florida. You might as well do it now. I mean. I know you're probably waiting for a bigger market, but I mean, the only chance you had to do it was in Miami, but you didn't do it in Miami. Yep. I mean, if it was The Rock, I think I would I would go because I remember a lot of his career, and you know, I really enjoyed his character. I mean, the nation stuff, not so much, but um, even when he was like heel, like Rock, I did mind him. Yeah, but I, I don't think. I think he's too busy uh, making movies. I don't think he could make an appearance at the Hall of Fame, can he? Why not? He showed up on Raw when he was filming one movie back in Boston. He was filming in New Orleans, and he showed up in Boston that night. So yeah. anything's possible. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely... Have... Right, right, when you got money, anything's possible. Oh, yeah, that's, that's... you're right about that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're right about that. But so, I, okay, so back to my schedule. Saturday, I am doing WrestleCon. I am going to be, right now, as of right now, I've only bought one one ticket to meet Scott Hall. Okay. He's a remote. And uh, I think I'm going to meet Kevin Nash. Part of the click, you know. Yeah. Um, so I got Kevin Nash. I want to do Meet Lita again, um, and I think I'm going to do Ric Flair, and I think that's going to be it on that. Okay. On the rest of um, Just because I'm going to meet Ric Flair, because he's a legend, and, you know, you never know how many more opportunities you got to meet somebody like that. Yeah, and, you're right. And uh, then uh, Saturday night, we have NXT. And then uh, after NXT, I am going over. Oh, crap. I think Saturday's a real busy day for me. I have. Crap, hold on. Saturday night, 
night after NXT, I am going to the live Bruce Pritchard podcast he's doing, and I'm also have I have a meet and greet to meet Bruce Pritchard. Who's that guy? Is that the guy with the the bushy hair? His brother Love, man. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know who you talking about. He was, and he was also backstage. Uh, he was also a backstage guy. Okay. Ran backstage. He was on the creative team for many, many years. Um, so yeah, and also during the day, I forgot. During the day, I also have a meet and greet with Jim Ross. Oh wow! Um, How much was that Jim Ross to get? Is it expensive? Yeah, that was pretty expensive. I bet. Hey, you go all you go all out for you know mania. I don't do this often. I don't go out and splurge a shit ton of money often. No, is, it, is that the, is, Mania is the weekend to do? Is that the, for Jim Ross? Is that the one he he's um on a stage and he just talks about his past? Yep. Okay. And uh, he had to be a guest with him. Okay. I'm just hoping Stone Cold. I'm hoping it's Stone Cold. Please, how please how much cold. how much are tickets usually? Like two hundred bucks and and higher for for um. No, the meet and greet is a hundred. Okay. How much regular, is regular ticket? I think the regular ticket's about fifty bucks. Oh, not bad. I go to the show here. And what day is that on? That's Saturday at two o'clock. Oh, that's not bad. Can you can you get tickets in advance, or do you got? Uh, I mean, you got, can you buy them there, or do you got just buy them in advance? I'll send you a link. I'll link you to it. Okay. Uh, and then Sunday, obviously WrestleMania, and then Monday. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing Monday. I'm staying with some friends. So that might be the day either I go to Universal or or Disney. Morning. Oh, you're not going to Raw or SmackDown? No, I'm coming home Tuesday morning. Okay. Um, I didn't get tickets. I didn't get tickets to Raw, so I'm not. Unless some like unbelievable deal that weekend, I get some unbelievable deal on a ticket. No, I'm not going to go to Raw. I'm not going to pay. I'm not going to pay the. I'm not gonna pay three hundred dollars for fifty dollars fee. No. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just not worth it. And then nothing. I'm if you have you ever been to um um a raw at the mania? I went last year. It sucked. See, like it's not the the quality of the show didn't suck. Like the actual wrestling quality. Like they had AJ Styles in the main event. You know. Yeah, and and I if it. I didn't mind the actual show, what happened on the show. Shane came out, and he got their chance to control Raw for a week, and then, you know, kind of they went off on that. Um, Enzo and Cass debuted. You know, that was enjoyable. They had the, you know, official presentation of the Women's Championship to Charlotte. That was decent. Um, we had the Maurice return. Um, the thing that I didn't like about it was the crowd. They tried to hijack the crowd because they're like a smarty crowd and they know everything and blah, blah, blah. And they try to be annoying and they think they're like entertaining. They're, they think they could just, because they're drunk and they've been there all weekend, they could just do whatever the hell they want. Yep, you're right about that. Have uh, you been to an after? Have you been to after Mania Raw? Nope. Are you going to Raw? Nope. Because I think Monday Tuesday, I think I, I think Monday Tuesday we go to Orlando or before shit. It's a, it's one of the days we're gonna go out there, you know. Why? Where are you guys staying? Um, um, Disney World at the um, um resort. Oh okay. So you're staying right on the ground with Disney. So you must have got a deal to Disney, huh? Yeah. yeah. I want to stay downtown, but it's like. Oh, too much money, and I know it's gonna be probably a lot of people booked already away in advance, you know. I'm staying at the Avante Resort, wherever the hell that is. Okay, hopefully, I, I can run into we get we got hook up, you know. Oh, yeah, we definitely got to do a video of some sort. We'll definitely, you know, we got all weekend, I got plenty of time, nothing but time. I'm not doing, I'm doing a lot, but I'm not jam over jamming my weekend. Of, you know, I want Whoa. time to, you know, meet up with people I've never met up with. 
know. Hey, breaking news. Hey, guess what? Breaking news that uh, Jimmy Some Snuka passed away. Oh, yeah. You, yeah, you are saying, yeah, look at the top. It's on Twitter. Jimmy Snuka died, 73 years old. Yeah. Me, there we go. There it is. Yep. Uh, it was a little bit before my time. He was in the late seventies, early eighties. I mean, I've seen him obviously, but I, I don't really have any recollection. It's like Bob Orton, you know. Yeah. That's sad. Yeah, it is sad that he died, but um. I know he had some some demons with possibly ending somebody's life. Yep. I know he didn't get charged with it because he was incompetent to stand trial or whatever. But uh, I've heard enough of that story to believe that he probably had something to do with it. I don't think so. Hey, um, I know this is going to be a touchy subject. What's your thoughts really quickie on the new president? Really quickie. What's your thoughts on Donald Trump as a president? Oh, I know. Just make I it short. Make it just make it short. You don't have to go a lot of detail, man. I I don't know. I'm not much into politics, so. Me neither. I mean, I wish I wish him the best of luck. I hope he, you know, can stop being a clown and hanging out on Twitter and all that. I hope that I hope they take that account away from him and he's just on a perpetual child for the next four years. Yeah. Of, and just, yeah, when somebody says something against him, he's not, you know, you know, this whole kindergarten act is getting old where, you know, nobody can say anything bad about you. You know, sorry, yeah. if you don't want people saying things bad about you, probably shouldn't have run for the president of the United States. Yeah. And, um, yeah. he's the, he's the only guy. He's a um, he's a W Hall of Famer and the president, so that's um, very weird, huh? Yeah. So. Exactly. I, I I don't know if you agree with me, but it don't matter who's the president. The United States is this world's all messed up in a way. Exactly. People are gonna, you know, people want to sit there and throw blame at the president. Oh, this is, you know, President Obama's fault. Well, he's the current president, and I get it. No matter, that's a position that no matter what you do, you're always going to be considered the bad guy in somebody's eyes. Yep. Everything gets put on Obama. You know, well, I'm sorry, Obama's not out there, you know, handing guns to certain people and handing drugs and telling them to, you know, sell them and causing these riots and, you know... I'm not saying it happens more in Latinos to black. I'm sure there's just as many white drug dealers as there are as black drug dealers or Latino, whatever. Just like there are good cops and there's bad cops. Yep. You know, everything's not on the president. You know, as people want to put everything on the president. Oh, it's Obama's fault because this happened. It's Obama's fault because this happened. And now, you know, the ones that, I, I just stick out of it. If they do something, you know, that's good for the country, I'll praise them. But I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, it's Donald Trump's fault this is happening. Oh, it's Donald Trump's fault because, you know, this is happening. You know, not everything is because of the president sometimes. Some people are just human nature and do things because they want to do things. Yep. And, and, and I don't get why a lot. I don't get why a lot of people want to argue with you when you say, "Oh, you're not into politics." But you know, the reason you vote is so you can, you know, kind of be in the conversation. Because if you don't vote, you can't bitch about it. It's my it always been my philosophy. Yeah. Anyway, um, do you want to talk? Um, yeah. Um, who are you going with? So who do you think? Who do you think is going to go with the NFC? Who do you think? What now? Football, we're talking. Oh, you want to talk about football now? Yeah, let's talk a little football. 
Yeah, but this is all about wrestling, man. This is... I don't want to go into too much. Oh. All right, all right, all right. My bad. It's all okay. Right. It's okay. We could discuss it off the podcast. Um, okay. Um, really quickly, uh, who are you going with um, to Orlando for Mania? Your, your friends or just your dad or what? I'm going just by, well, I'm going down by myself, but I'm meeting up with friends when I get down there. That's cool. Are you going to uh, vlog it the best you can? Um, yeah, I mean, usually the group I go with aren't really comfortable with me filming. Okay. You know, they don't, they're just not into the whole YouTube thing. Okay. And I respect that. So, a lot of the things I will, you know, try to film when I'm away from them. Okay. Like, I'll film when I just don't want to put them in an uncomfortable position with me filming, you know. They know I make videos, but I don't try to force it. I don't, I'm don't. i not like, hey, come on my video with me. Now if they were like, hey, you want to get us on video, I'd certainly do it, you know. Yeah. But, so what what day, what day you want to uh, meet up? Do you know? Have you decided? Um, no, nah, I mean, we'll see how the schedule goes, you know. I mean... Probably the best day would probably be Monday. Monday. If you want, if, if any, you know, if you wanted to go out to lunch or something like that, you know. Okay, we'll figure out something. Okay. I mean, that would probably be the best day. That just the day, you know. I don't, I don't know what you're doing. I mean, if I end up going to Disney World, you know, we could maybe meet up somewhere in there, you know. Yeah, that'd be cool. Because that would probably be the day that I would be doing either Disney or Universal is, is Monday because I have nothing to do that day. That's like my free day before and do, I leave in the morning. Do you know who else is going from the YouTube world? you know who else is going to Orlando? Uh, I know the Lorenzo brothers, I think, are going. Okay. Um, I don't... I don't know if Ravi and... Uh, I know Steve's not going. I know Stevie Breach isn't going. I know that. Yeah, he they they're pushing uh, they pushing for a thirty four. Yeah, I know. I know that's what they're doing. But I thought I thought I saw something that Ravi might be going with Justin, the big the other guy from Canada. Yeah, but he said uh, he's not gonna go because um, he didn't know for sure about thirty four if it's confirmed. Now it's confirmed about uh, New Orleans. Now oh, okay. he's that's why. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. So the, I don't. The only persons I know are the, uh, the whatever their channel is, the Lorenzo Brothers. Okay. Out of Connecticut. I, know, I, I don't know anybody else. I know a couple other people that I subscribe to, but I don't know if you watch them. Who's that? Um, there's a girl, Miz fan, WWE, something like that. I think I've heard of her. Yeah, she's out of Texas. Okay, is I think Luke uh, uh, Luke Cage is gone. Luke Luke's gone. I heard. Is he? Yeah, yeah. Eh. We we got along. We didn't really. Uh, I mean, we didn't we did not get along. I mean, I like Luke. We had our differences on Twitter, but I mean, he was a nice guy in pub, in person. Oh, is he? So, but he's still quiet. Yeah, he's a nice guy. He's just real quiet. He doesn't really. I mean, he just he's not really talkative. You know. He kind of just goes about his own thing, and that's cool. Okay, I hope I, I hope I, I, I could uh, meet him. Yeah. I mean, you too. That'd yeah, be cool. I, I met up. I met up with Steve last year, and you know, after the fact, I didn't know he was going through what he was going through, and you know, I some people will say things about Steve and that group of that supposed click. I think that's all just a joke. I think I don't think they're trying. You know, I think they got a persona on YouTube and they kind of ran with it. I don't think they're, you know, trying to be you know a wrestling faction. You know? Okay. I, I I think they're all a group of guys that are really cool. Um, Ravi was very good to me. I um, mean, for the hour or so that I hung out with them, everybody was really cool with me from there. So. I will never say anything bad about them. They were cool to me. They let me hang out. Um, they could have just been like, no, we don't know you. Get the hell out of here. And they didn't. You know, we went and got burgers together. And we rode back to the hotel and then we kind of split. I was there for about an hour and it was a cool time. And uh, knowing everything Breach 
Triple H has been going through in the past year, I can't imagine going to WrestleMania and wanting to be around a lot of people that you don't know after going through. I mean, if you watch these videos, you know what's going on, obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't want to talk about it. Right? Uh, yeah, exactly. I don't really, I'm not here to expose people's lives that aren't here to talk about it, you know. So, um, and if you know, if you follow Stevie Breach on YouTube, you know what's going on. But um, for me personally, I would never say anything bad about any of those guys because they treated me really cool and, um, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, hopefully, uh, I, I just hopefully, um, not her rumor is that, it's just a rumor that WWE wants to have Brock Lesnar and uh, Goldberg to end their show Mania 33. I think that's, I don't know if that's a good move or a bad move. I, I don't think that's a good move at all. You got two part-timers and, you know, no offense to Goldberg, but he's not going to Nope. And then I also heard that we might have another, what, third year in a row, fourth year in a row, a ladder match for the IC belt, really? Come on now. <laughs> Last year wasn't bad. I don't mind the ladder match. I think they should I think they should bring back money in the bank for yeah. some for WrestleMania with I, a better concept. I agree, yep, I agree, yep. Yeah, I mean Because number one, uh, number one, because it's, it's in uh, Shaq's hometown. Back, you know, he li used to live out there, or still does. And back in the day, when um, the, when the Raw used to have a host, and uh, Big Show came out. Remember that time, and Shaq came out. Yeah, he dumped him out to the floor, didn't he? Yeah. Big Show came out and dumped him on the floor. Yeah. What? See, if they want to have a match, I don't know. It's just, I mean, Big Show looks good, but overall, I don't. I could care less about this man. People are gonna people are gonna go uh, bathroom. What kind of match is it gonna be? Shaquille O'Neal can't take bumps. No. All he's gonna do is big show freaking and even if he can take even if he can hit the man, it ain't gonna look good. Nope. And okay, unless he's been training, unless unless we know something unless we don't know something we're not supposed to. Yeah. But, uh, it just seems like a big match to make money or get the press talking about WrestleMania. Yeah, pretty much. That's how it is because because Shaq, Shaq's a celebrity and probably they're gonna talk about it on ESPN, um, all that other um social media accounts, you know. Right, exactly. Um, but you know, the thing with some people say, oh well, the Merryweather thing was good. Yeah, that was good because they had a good angle. Yes. I don't think they're gonna have a. You're not. They're not gonna do that again. They're not gonna have Shaq break his nose. No. Because if they have Shaq break his nose, people are just going to be like, okay, this is just a rerun of Mer Merriweather with just a bigger dude. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not really, I'm not really looking for this match if it does happen, you know. But I'm not too sure if he saw um, Big Show's Instagram photo, but he looks good in shape. But on the other hand, I could care less about this match. A lot of people, and I was going to say that, but um, you, um, you interrupt me, but it's okay um, that. Um, People are gonna go to the um, bathroom and go get food, go get the merchandise. They don't give a darn about this match at all. If it does take place, I mean, you know. Right. Yeah. So, no, I, not many people are gonna care about nope. this match. Nope. No. Yeah, I want. I told people I want money bank back, especially if we get the brands, but it makes sense, you know. You know. Yeah. So I don't know. That that really needs to eliminate. From my point of view, eliminate the money bank pay per view, eliminate that, and just only have it at Mania. Because this is more exciting at Mania, how it kicks off. I mean, it was great to have money bank pay per views, but I think it's dying out from my point of view, Triple H fan. Yeah, because now you have to have, like you were saying, now it's the brand split, so now we're going to have to have two ladder matches. Yes. And, you, and they're not going to be any different. Nope. It's going to be the same match. With seven different guys, you know, fourteen different guys. It's just two matches to get fourteen guys on the card. 
Yes, and one more thing before I let you go. What's your thoughts as KO as a champion? Do you think he's a good champion? Or do you think that he's not, um, um, build him as a good champion, you know? Well, I don't think he was ever supposed to be built as a great champion. I mean, his character doesn't really, you know, convey that, I don't think. But, um, I've enjoyed him and Kevin Owens. I mean, him and Chris Jericho. Um, is it weird that he has the belt and they're not really making it prestigious a little bit, but I think the overall entertainment we've gotten from Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho, I think it, I think if we weren't getting that, people would be more upset. Yep, and then most likely, I don't know, I'm assuming they're going to break up around, probably around Mania time, and they're going to have one-on-one -on -one match, I don't know if KO is going to lose the belt. At the Raw Rumble against uh, uh, Roman Reigns, who knows? You know, it's up in the air right now. You know. Uh, how about just have Jericho put him over at Mania, and then you know, have him let hold it till Mania, and then let Jericho lose, go off. Have Jericho lose the United States Championship. You know, have Kevin Owens cost him the championship, and have him fight Jericho for the title. I know it's weird to have a part timer fighting for the title, but it makes sense. And then have Jericho lose, and then he goes about his merry way. Yeah. Because nobody likes, no offense, nobody in the whatever internet wrestling community likes Roman Reigns. So no matter what WWE does, they're shit out of luck. Yeah, pretty if much. They put Roman Reigns, if they put Roman Reigns in those people's eyes, if they put Roman Reigns in the main event, then it's going to get shit on. If they put Jericho in the main event for the title... Against KO, even though they know that KO's gonna win, they're gonna shit on it. Yeah, go figure. And I don't know why they give no up. Matter, but... What are you gonna say? Go ahead. It's just no... Yeah, it's just like I was just gonna repeat myself basically. No matter what WWE does, it's wrong in their eyes. Yeah, and I don't know why they give a Y2J that US belt. It's, that's kind of dumb, you know? When he's gonna defend it? Well, I, a... I think that was just for a reason to make people think that Roman Reigns is gonna win the title. No. Oh. The Rumble. So that mean he is it? I don't know. I don't know if he wins the title. Okay. Maybe maybe Jericho somehow spits in his eye and costs him the title from the cage. I don't know. He never know. <laughs> you know, like something like that. You know, like they could pull off something still with Jericho. Yeah, uh, I, I, you know. I. That'd be cool if, if Jericho defends his U.S. belt at Mania. That'd be nice. I don't know what we're going to do. It's going to be an interesting ride. Uh, I, I like going on the ride. I try not... You know, there's some things that I don't like, but I try not to be that fan that complains about everything. Because, like, my friends that do a local radio station, why watch if you don't enjoy? So, I always try to find something that I enjoy in the show, and other things I just either fast-forward through, or I just don't... I go get a drink. Yep. <laughs> okay, um... Triple H guy, 04. This is it, and thank you very much for coming aboard. It was a blast. Hopefully, you have fun today. I had a great time. You hopefully we meet up down in Orlando. We'll plan something. Damn right. I'll give you the stunner, huh? <laughs> I'm kidding. You give me a stunner, you better run because like once I get up, you're getting a pedigree. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, you want to say? Do you want to say anything else before we sign off, or is that about it for you? Uh, you can just follow me if you don't already. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. You can if you want. You can follow me on YouTube at Triple H Guy Two Thousand Four on YouTube. Um, I don't make videos all the time, but uh, I try to put up a video at least once a month talking about something. You know. Okay, all the Crazy. social all the social media accounts are down below. Check them out. Subscribe to the Triple H Guy 04 and check out my my friend named Gavin. Um, he makes these uh, thumbnails once in a while for me. So check him out. Follow him on Twitter. Have a good one and thank you very much. Man, enjoy these NFL games. And that wraps it up. Goodbye, everyone.